Alright, got a call for a stuck F-150. It's out off the of Latrobe Road, Northern California, probably, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes, like southeast of Sacramento area. It's just a long dirt road with a lot of puddles, and uh, you know, it's not really much else to it. But I guess he's a two-wheel drive. He was trying to go around a puddle, and the back end slid into it a little bit. He got the... Uh, from what I saw the pictures, it looks like the rear diff was high centered in a rut, so should be fairly simple. Um, you know, one or two little pulls, it should pop right out. So we're jamming out there now. It should be there in a half hour or so. And, uh, hopefully we can get some good video. Well, we got another one. A little bit of a hole here. No tow points, so we're gonna rig it up with the axle straps. It's a Latrobe Road, Northern California. Yeah, should be a fairly easy pull. All right, this is what we got. So no tow points. I do the control arms. Just like that. It's always good to run two. So axle straps to the D-rings, to the tree saver, soft shackle, kinetic rope to our receiver shackle. So should be a fairly easy pull nothing crazy was easy as expected I mean I didn't even put it in four-wheel drive just kept it in two-wheel drive super easy tug it came right out no biggie super easy as expected um, like I said I mean I was in two-wheel drive I didn't even put it in four-wheel drive to get it out just a super little tug and he was free problem is out here man it's it's miles and miles dirt road and there's nobody coming and going either way it took me an hour to get out to this guy and uh, nobody passed him in that time so as soon as i got home from work he messaged me on snapchat and was like hey you do off-road recoveries i was like hell yeah i got you man <laughs> so i jammed out here try and help out where i could get get another video California you know we only have a, a month or two of rain each year and we're past our peak season right now so pretty much go all summer with nobody getting stuck because it's so dry uh, the only time people get stuck out here is when it's muddy or in the snow and you know nine ten months out of the year you don't get that stuff so videos are starting to slow down a little bit but I'm gonna do what I can to keep them running I got some other other ideas for videos I'm gonna gonna start filming here soon we got a big giveaway coming up too so you know watch the channel i'll post the i think we're gonna do like a full-blown winch kit from rhino um I'll, I'll make a video on that next week probably but yeah successful recovery no damage like always that's why it's good to carry those axle straps that make life easy you could have done it with a toe strap or a tree saver you know but the axle straps are so thin that it makes it easy getting in those tight spaces and i'm glad i had that yoga mat or else i would have been dirty because i was all up under that truck but we're headed out now try and get some more video on the on the way out of the road
you guys have Facebook, uh, join these off-road recovery groups. Um, I have a group for each state. It's called 4x4 Rescues. So uh, search the state name, whatever state you're in. Uh, let's say Virginia 4x4 Rescue, Nevada 4x4 Rescue, Alabama 4x4 Rescue. I literally have a group for each state. And it's just a volunteer-based off-road recovery group. So we, we don't charge. Um, you never know who you're gonna get. You know, some members may be more equipped or more experienced than others, but overall, it's a it's a pretty helpful community. If you find yourself stuck, then you know, get on one of these groups, and uh, somebody will come help you. Or if you like doing this type of stuff, and you know, you're pretty well equipped, join the group and go help somebody else. So it's a good resource to have for sure. It's like AAA for for off road recoveries, but. Yeah, each state uh, has its own recovery group. Just search the state's name and 4x4 Rescue.